just tore my pec. Ooh. It's not looking too good. Hello everyone and welcome back. Yes, it was an April Fool's joke, but for today, we do have a pretty epic chest workout with some shoulders. So you're going to have a little bit of commentary with it to go along to hopefully help you figure out exactly my mindset with each exercise. Enjoy. So for this, retraction of the shoulder blades towards the bench is very much so key. Keeping the elbows at around a 20 degree bend, not bending them more when coming up, keeping them the same bent as you go down, as you go up, okay? Now, realistically for this exercise, the stretch coming down is the key, okay? You do more growth and stimulation with that overall stretch than what you would do actually pressing it up, okay? So really focus on that eccentric, the cadence obviously, and try to work as slow down as you can. And if you really want to get an extra stretch, you may see my elbows flare up at the very, very end of this um, of a fly. And that's just to create an extra stretch on your pec, okay? Enjoy. So you're going to want to superset this, meaning within three seconds of finishing this exercise, you're going to want to jump over to the dips and obviously go to failure again.
So realistically with this, you want to make sure the angle is key. It's not necessarily to your side, but it's definitely not forward, okay? Now what I don't like just reviewing this in general is the fact that my arms aren't straight. So I may have to go down and wait a little bit next time. Just make sure you focus on keeping those elbows almost locked. Not necessarily locked, but pretty damn close. And then the raise. Now you can't really see with this angle, but you are leading with your elbows, okay? So in this, you're really taxing that back rear delt. And that's pretty much all I have to say on this for today. And to wrap things up, we're going to finish with an ab camp doing ab wheel rollouts today. 50 consecutive ones. So enjoy this torture scene. Thank <sighs> you. 